The over $100,000 course will train officers to become crime scene officers. It is part of government's commitment to put crime and security at the top of the national agenda. So says Home Affairs Minister Guy Mayers. The minister says the workshop also comes at a time when witnesses fear testifying in court. Mayer says it's time for more scientific methods to be applied to crime solving. He says fingerprint technology is particularly important and will be implemented soon after the training of officers. One of the things we want to implement this year and we are funding is the APHIS electronic fingerprinting system. And we hope that this will be implemented very soon. Now, it doesn't make sense to have a top-of-the-line electronic system and we do not have people who can manage it or can provide the evidence that is required for the thing to work properly. And therefore, this course is timely, plus the other training programs that have to take place before we can successfully use the electronic system. Police Commissioner Osbert Regi says the training is an important investment in crime management. He says it will help ensure proper protocols are observed at crime scenes and irrefutable evidence submitted in court. You are the first link in that process to ensure that the exhibits or the trace evidence left on a scene by the perpetrators of that crime is processed into evidence that the courts will accept and we will find the required um, reason to, pro to, to, to convict that person. In other words, good scientific evidence is important, especially in an environment where witnesses are getting very apprehensive about coming to court. The crime scene investigation training will be taught by two scenes of crimes instructors from the UK-based National Policing Improvement Agency. One of the facilitators, Peter Boyd, says the course will teach officers the importance of scientific evidence to crime solving. Scientific evidence in this day and age is vital. It's a very, very important tool in, uh, in the fight against crime. If collected properly, if um, packaged properly and if the continuity of the evidence is such that it cannot be refuted then it is very very powerful evidence. The police commissioner says this type of training is needed as St. Lucia prepares to open the National Forensic Lab. He says the lab's work is dependent on the quality of exhibits submitted by crime scene officers. Twelve officers are taking part in the three-week program. The officers will also have the opportunity to further enhance their skills when the advanced course is offered later. Alison Kentish, HDS News, Channel 4.